with another bump date for you and today we're going to be talking about my 26th week of pregnancy yes um ryan is going to take it right over with baby progress i got baby progress <laughs> but waste no time uh, little bean is now about the size of a butternut squash Woo! one of my favorite vegetables hey. <laughs> but at this stage in development is way more well-rounded okay <laughs> there you it. <laughs> she continues to improve her breathing skills uh -huh. getting more and more ready to breathe on her own which is That's awesome nice. She's going to have to do it before you know it. She will. Uh, after many months, she is once again able to open and close her eyes. This is the coolest That's thing. That's awesome to me, I actually. can't believe that yeah. like she may have like her eyes open right now. It's crazy. I don't know what she's looking at. I like, know. How's the view? <laughs> like darkness. Right, but she's sensitive to light also, yeah. and we're right by the window, so maybe... Yeah, maybe. You know, maybe, maybe. she's like, hey, what's going on? Or what's maybe up? she's just asleep. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> uh, her nervous system is developed enough that it's beginning to be able to control some of her critical body functions. That's awesome. And which makes sense because we've passed viability. Right? Yeah. We've passed our first milestone. Yeah. So there you have it. And uh, her adrenal glands are now secreting either estrogen or androgen. It's estrogen. We, right. We, we In her case, yeah. Uh, which signals for your body to begin lactating. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's something that I'm actually look, looking forward to doing. You yeah. know, uh, I'm going to definitely try my best to breastfeed. And hopefully I'll be able to. It's we'll sort of see. a funny step though, isn't yeah. it? Like when you're like, whoa, you're, this is early. Yeah. What's going on here? But we'll, <laughs> see. we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, and a little bean's liver, the body's filtration system, is still developing all of the protein that you are getting. Oh, okay. And yeah. these last couple of weeks, we are getting a lot a because lot of protein. we're American diets <laughs> yeah. down here. So lots of sausage, bacon, eggs, you name it. Yeah. Thanks, American breakfast. <laughs> and that is it. That is uh, that's your baby progress. Oh, for that's also that's a great baby progress. Oh, by the way, guys, we didn't say anything, but we are actually in a hotel room I mean, today. You check it out. We're at the the Hyatt Place here in, in Denver, Denver, Colorado, yeah. looking at the mountains right yeah. past you. Guys There's here. like a beautiful view out of this window right here that you guys cannot <laughs> see, but we need the light. Um, yeah, and this is our second week here in Denver. We actually yeah. did Denver, Omaha, now back in Denver. Yep, and this is the home stretch. We're getting set yeah. to wrap it up, and in a couple of days, we're back to see feet. Yeah, that's true. Now we're gonna jump to symptoms this week. Actually, not much different than last week. No, not a lot has changed really. No, mm -hmm. same things. I'm feeling still out of breath. And obviously it's because I'm getting bigger, but we're also, you know, in, we're above sea level right yeah, here. Yeah, we're a mile high and 11 mile stories high. up here yeah. right now, so. Definitely the altitude is getting to me. Um, I cannot take a 10 minute walk without like <laughs> huffing and puffing and just like, <laughs> and it's so funny because I'm, you know, I'm, in my mind, I still want to keep up and I want to still be like, yes, I can do this. And we had some friends in town this mm -hmm. last two days and we're all walking and you know, I'm like, yes, I can do this. But you know, who am I kidding? I mean, I'm pregnant, you know, I'm almost yeah. this, I'm this close to my third trimester. Exactly. And it is what it is. And I would say this one sort of segues into the next symptom also, which is that like you sort of been on that roller coaster of hormones yeah. this week. So, yeah. you know, feeling up, but then feeling down yeah. if you feel like your body is betraying you. Like yeah. we're, we're all getting set for, you know, an evening out or a dinner or taking a big walk someplace. Yeah. And, it's been a little bit tough for you to feel like you can keep up all the time. Right. Yeah. Another thing that I felt this week a lot, guys, is that every time I eat, even if it is not a huge meal, I get so full. Right. It's just uncomfortable. So I'm really, really having to manage my portions and be, you know, making sure that I'm getting enough food because I'm still hungry. I feel hungry, but. I just get full so easily and I'm not, it's not that I'm eating t a little bit and getting full but yeah. I could always eat more you know what I mean yeah you keep wanting to like go back for that second portion <laughs> and we like have to think it through it's yeah. like whoa 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 because it gets it, it makes me feel so uncomfortable and a couple of days this week we had late night dinners because our friends were in town and yeah. we were going out you know and getting some food and everything and I just had really uncomfortable nights because of course I was you know eating late and then going to bed and it just felt like really I had indigestion and mm. I didn't have that feeling of like oh yeah as I ate and I feel good I feel like you know okay I just felt like very heavy and extremely full so yeah another thing that I'm feeling yeah but then last night when we ate a little bit earlier I think you would feel better a lot better and you said you slept really well last night too, exactly so. exactly so keeping yourself on a schedule makes yeah. a big difference yeah another thing I th it's we think is because she is definitely way bigger and she's kicking high it's funny because I get a lot of the kicks 
on my upper right side of yeah. my belly and a lot of movement on the, the lower part as well. So I think because she maybe turned, we don't know. We we're don't gonna, know. We're we'll, gonna we'll get find an out ultrasound this, yeah, next, this week. next week. Yeah. So. so we will see what position she is, you know, she's right now. But she may actually be head down already. I'm not sure. You guys let us know in the comments below if it's normal. Yeah. I'm just shy of my 27th week. So, yeah, is we'll this see. the time for that? Is this too early? We yeah. really don't know. Let but, us I mean, know in the comments. Once we see some pictures this week, we will. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, that's exciting. So, lots of, you know, out of breath, feeling full. <laughs> My belly's huge. <laughs> How about food cravings and aversions? Okay, what do you so think? Food cravings and aversions. No aversions. No, no aversions. Yeah. yeah. Um, and your cravings. cravings are like what do you think? American foods right, or, or international foods because we're surrounded by all of them. We right. don't get a whole lot of that down in, in Hesiti, Hesiti, Brazil. Yeah. So now that we're here, it's been like Thai food, Czech, pizza, Czech. Ramen. Ramen, definitely. Yeah. Burrito or tacos, like absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we're, we're sort of covering all the bases, but I, I can't think of anything else more than right. that that you've craved in particular. I, mean, I think that's yeah. it, really. Like, I just, we really love being in a city where we can get you know foods from from other parts of the world we just like that yeah and yesterday we got I got a delicious falafel sandwich <laughs> <laughs> I killed my pizza cravings yeah, we, uh, actually, we have knocked out a lot of different ethnic yeah. cities as far as food is concerned yeah. again we went for ramen on Ryan's birthday which was awesome which is awesome yeah we, we filmed all day but we didn't take the camera with us that night but yeah. it was such an awesome day and it's an upcoming vlog so yeah, you guys, yeah, you guys, will see you it guys still. stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> I will say like one one really smart thing that we did and I'll just lump it in with uh -huh. food cravings and aversions is to stay in a hotel with breakfast like right. there, there's a beautiful yes. breakfast offered every morning downstairs yeah. fresh fruit yogurt juices cereals lots of hot food also yeah. and it's made such a difference for us and for Priscilla especially yeah. because you know if we're going out to meet friends or you know we've got a busy day planned it's got to start with breakfast downstairs <laughs> it has to it right? has to I wake yeah. up hungry you right? do yeah. and, and if we don't get food into you right away yeah. it sort of messes with the timing of the day yeah. and it just things get complicated after that yeah. so for all of you ladies out there all of you husbands who are thinking about your hotel decisions <laughs> if your ladies are pregnant factor in the the big breakfast yeah, it makes true. a difference so it is true I agree with that that's yeah. been awesome so, so is it a cool moment of the week yeah is that next guys it's a very cool moment it's of the week it's a super cool moment yeah, of the week because in this last hour we had the chance to meet with some of our YouTube friends yeah Louie and Mallory and their lovely children yeah and we had the we, camera we literally just met them and yeah. then we're here recording this moment. And that's why she's out of breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we walked from my Starbucks over here, but we did have our camera and we got some footage and yeah. it was awesome. Yeah, so check it out. Here yeah. you guys go. gift we need. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's awesome. Exactly. Oh, they're good, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, and you have those? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. guys very much thank you thank you very much <laughs> she got that for us well thank you so generous <laughs> oh my gosh yeah this is too much this is very kind thank you it's adorable I love baby girl stuff. I know. It's amazing. I was like, oh yeah, we're just gonna get a few things. <laughs> That's oh, adorable. adorable. I love that one. I love the colors. Yeah. I love it. And there's a card. Thank you so much. 
So, Louie and Mallory, thank you guys so much for coming out. And for the beautiful gifts. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, it was too much. Yeah. It was absolutely generous, lovely. Yeah. It was so fantastic to meet with you guys yeah. today. Now, are you ready to take a look at the bump? Yes. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Buttons are streaming. They are. I guess. They <laughs> are. This is like this is a shirt that I always had that I love. It's like oversized. It's not maternity or anything, but I always loved it because it was so big and large. Now forget it. It's just like oh, forget about it. Do I squeeze in it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we have for you guys this week. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Yeah. And be sure to leave a lovely comment down below. Yeah. And subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you back in our next video. Bye! Bye!